Today lesson, we'll be talking about what is a group. A group is a collection of individuals who interact with each other such that one person's action have an impact on the others. Group can also be, be defined as a collection of individuals who have regular contact and frequent in interaction, mutual influence, the common feelings of camaraderie, and who work together to achieve a common set of goals. In other words, a group is defined as two or more individuals interacting and coming together to achieve particular objectives. There are two main types of group groups, primary and secondary group. Primary groups are commonly found in family setting, that is the members of the household often share a common background and they know each other quite well. Also, they have face-to-face -face contact with, with each other, as against the secondary group is usually found in an educational and employment setting, like a class batch, work team, etc. Primary group plays a very important role in the lives of people as they tend to shape the personality, behavior, and character of people, as against the secondary group has a little significance on the life of people. In a secondary group, people who, who share only a part of their lives while focusing on the goal or task. This type of group share, share also impersonal relationship. They are there just to accomplish a specific purpose or task. Members of these groups interact involving only parts of their personality. In other words, secondary group are, have impersonal relationship involving only parts of the personality that is shared. Examples of secondary group are employers, workers, clear clerks, customers, etc. What are they like? Members of secondary group may be friends but relationship exists to accomplish a task. It, do it doesn't look to create a friendship. If a friendship becomes more important than a task then the group becomes ineffective. These are some cases where there's a crossover between primary and secondary group. In other words, friends who work at the same place. The difference between primary group and secondary group. Primary groups are the groups which people experience or become a part of in their early stage of life. In this group, there's a sense of mutual cooperation, support, companionship, and sharing of feelings. On the contrary, secondary groups are experienced by people in the later stages of their life. In such groups, their relationship rely on reciprocal needs. When it comes to the size of the two groups, the secondary group is larger in the size, both in terms of numbers of friends and geographical area, as compared to the primary group, which has limited number of members. Also, the members may belong to a particular region. Primary groups are long lasting as they persist over time. On the other hand, secondary groups are short-lived because they are formed with a specific purpose that is to carry out a certain task and once the purpose is accomplished, these groups cease to exist. Primary groups are commonly found in family setting that is members of the household of share a common background and they know each other quite well. Also, they have face-to-face -face contact with each other. As against, a secondary group is usually found in an education and employment setting, like a class, work team, etc. The relationship between group of members in the primary group is intimate and personal. Unlike the relationship between the groups, of the secondary group is impersonal and goal-oriented. In general, people experience or become a part of a primary group in their early stage of life, but in their later stage of life, they become a part of various secondary groups. 
primary group works on principle of particularism, that is, each individual is important, as against the secondary group works on the principle of universalism, which means that the group is open to all and anyone can join. The structure of the primary group is in informal, whereas the secondary group has, has a formal setting. In the primary group, the members know each other and they have strong bonding, so they have direct, quick, and effective communication. In, con in contrast, communication is indirect in case of a secondary group. The best thing about the primary group is that the members have a stable role. However, in a secondary group, the role of people is interchangeable in nature. There is a direct cooperation between the members of the primary group, but indirect cooperation is present in case of the secondary group.